everyone to National Purple Heart Day here at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Today is a very special day as we honor the Purple Heart and Gold Star recipients present, as well as the nearly 2 million combat veterans that have been awarded a Purple Heart Medal. At this time, we would like to begin our ceremony with the playing of our national anthem. <laughs> Rosana Berber Aliga, and someone who has fostered a wonderful relationship with the park, Veterans Advocate Nesta Aliga. It is an incredible honor to host you all here today, and we are privileged to have the opportunity to recognize the sacrifices made by those on stage with us this morning, as well as those who can be with us on National Purple Heart Day. In 2016, Six Flags Discovery Kingdom received the distinguished designation as the first Purple Heart Recreation Park in the United States. As such, we are proud to employ veterans and offer events throughout the year, such as this one, where both our team and our guests can show appreciation to our service members and veterans. We wish to honor and thank every Purple Heart Medal recipient for the dedication to duty, selfless sacrifice, and personal courage for our country. I will now invite Mayor of the City of Vallejo, Robert McConnell, to join me on stage. Mayor McConnell, a certificate of appreciation, recognition of his loyalty, dedication to duty, and selfless sacrifice for the United States of America. Your valiantly shed blood for our great country and our grateful nation, thanks and honors me. Uh, for those who may not be aware, uh, Mayor McConnell is a veteran of the Vietnam War and so proud to have him with us here today. Uh, Mayor McConnell, safety work. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for being here. National Purple Heart Day is sort of a new recognition in our country. It actually started only in 2014. And while I was a combat infantry veteran in Vietnam, 
I didn't take a hit. <laughs> I was very happy for that. But for those who did, you saw the agony and the sacrifice that they not only had at that time, but the pain in their in the Patriots' hearts, the comrades, and of course, the aftermath. When you see somebody wearing a Purple Heart today, you know that they were willing to do what was necessary to accomplish the task. And well, we're, we are blessed to have people here with us today who have that recognition. If you've ever been in a Veterans Administration hospital, particularly a large one, where the injured from wars are treated and not seen in public, you can see the devastation that has been caused to these people and how singularly important the recognition of this medal is. There's a lot of history that goes into this. There's actually the modern one that you see today was designed by General MacArthur in 1932, and he went on to receive one in 1942. There is only one president of the United States who has ever received a Purple Heart. And how many people know who that is? John F. Kennedy. John Kennedy. Kennedy. <laughs> the only per president of the United States ever to receive a Purple Heart. So today it is my honor to present to you our two Purple Heart recipients here today, a certificate of appreciation. First I would like to call Manny Concepcion up. This is a recognition from Six Flags Recovery Kingdom, America's first Purple Heart Recreation Park. A certificate of appreciation presented to you, Manny Concepcion, the Purple Heart Medal recipient. In recognition of your loyalty, dedication to duty, and selfless sacrifice to the United States Department of America, your valiantly shedding of blood for our great country and our great nation, thanks and honors you on this 7th day of August 2021. And congratulations. Thank you for all of you here. Thank you. And next I would like to call up William Pat Brown. Airborne guy. <laughs> That's like never believe in jumping out of a purple big good <laughs> airplane, you know. <laughs> so, in recognition of this, the Six Flags Discovery Kingdom proudly presents to you the Certificate of Appreciation to William Pat Morales, a Purple Heart Medal recipient. In recognition of your loyalty, dedication to duty, and selfless sacrifice to the United States of America. We valiantly shed blood for our great country and our great nation. Thanks and honor to you this day and every day. Presented to you on this 7th day of August 2021 by Janine Durrett, Park President. Congratulations, sir. Thank you for your service and your sacrifice. Now, you're up. Thank you, Mayor McConnell. I'm Nestor Valiga from the uh, American Legion, Manuel L. Casson, Post 603, Veterans of Foreign Wars, Post 1123, and the Disabled American Veterans of America here in Vallejo. And I am here to present a certificate to Ruthie Catolico Ashley for she is and Ruby, if you may please join me. And the certificate from the Pentagon looks like this. And it reads, Department of Defense Vietnam War Commemoration. Certificate of Honor to Ruby Martin in memory of Kenneth Martin. On behalf of a grateful nation and the Department of Defense, we are proud to recognize and honor your loved one, you and your family, for the significant sacrifices made in the name of freedom and democracy over the years. Thank you for your example of grace, dignity, and courage. Our nation is forever indebted to you and extends its deepest respect and admiration. Done this. 7th day of August 2021 by signed by the Secretary of Defense.
Uh, uh, a moment ago, um, Janine and Mayor McConnell uh, read the certificate from Six Flags to our Purple Heart honorees, and they also received certificates that looks like this from Congressman Mike Thompson and from Senator Bill Dodd, Assemblyman Tim Grayson, and Jim Grayson. Uh, so let me read you what uh, one of them said. Certificate of Special Congressional Recognition attended to Pat Morales, Danny Concepcion, and to Robert McConnell. And it says, in honor of your courage, self-sacrifice, and devotion to our great nation during the Vietnam War. Recended on National Purple Heart Day, signed by Mike Thompson, California's 5th District, United States Congress. And the other one is from the California Legislature. And it's a certificate of recognition, again, to Nani Concepcion, Pat uh, Morales, and Robert McConnell. And it says, Combat Veteran of the Vietnam War. In appreciation of your exceptional and honorable service to the people of the United States of America under extraordinary conditions. Your commitment to defending freedom and democracy across the globe deserve the highest commendations from the people of the state of California. Signed by Jim Frazier and Tim Grayson, members of the California uh, Assembly, as well as Bill Dodd, Senator of the 3rd District California State Legislature. Uh, thank you again, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us today. And thank you, Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. ceremony this morning in recognition of National Purple Heart Day. The park will be opening momentarily and we hope you had a great day here at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom.